completing the square method of factorizing or solving a quadratic equation is actually very simple let's get to it first notice that the coefficient of x squared here is not one but six so we are going to remove this six and make the coefficient to be one and to do that we are going to divide through by six divided by six divided by six divided by six divided by six so when we do that this we divide this and we have x squared minus x over six minus five over six is equal to zero now at this point what we need to do is we need to transfer our constant to the other side of the equation so if we do that we have x squared minus x over six is equal to five over six okay all right now once you have something like this the next step is going to you are going to bring out the coefficient of your x then you get half of it half the coefficient of x all right now in this case the coefficient of x here is minus one over six so we are going to add half coefficient of x to both sides of this equation now when we do that we will have x squared minus x over six plus so we have minus one over six as the coefficient of x right x over six uh, sorry as coefficient of x we have minus one over six so we need half of it so half of coefficient of x that is half of that is half multiplied by the coefficient of what x that is what we are going to add to both sides of this equation so i've added half of the coefficient of x here i'm also going to add the same thing here okay plus half of the coefficient of what x as simple as that now we move on so we have x squared minus x over six plus now one times minus one will give us minus one two times six will give us 12 all right is equal to, sorry squared squared you have to square it half coefficient of x squared okay sorry about that so you have to square this is equal to five over six plus what the same thing we have here minus one over 12 squared okay now i want us to know something for the left hand side do not factor uh, do not solve this further leave it in square form but here please solve this further you are going to see the reason later so what do we have now we have x to the power of 2 minus x over 6 okay plus like i said leave it in this form minus 1 over 12 squared is equal to 5 over 6 plus now we are going to solve this minus 1 squared will give us 1 and 12 squared will give us 144 perfect so we continue now we have x squared minus x over 6 plus minus 1 over 12 squared is equal to now the lcm of 6 and 144 is what 144 okay so 6 divided 144 divided by 6 let's do that 144 divided by 6 14 divided by 6 we give us 2 to remainder 2 divides 24 we are going to have 6 all right sorry we are going to have 4 so that means uh, 144 divided by 6 is 24 so we have 24 multiplied by 5 plus 144 divided by 144 144 divided by 144 is 1 1 times 1 is 1 okay so we move on so we have x squared minus x over 6 plus minus 1 over 12 squared is equal to now 24 times 5 24 times 5 this is 20 this is 12 120 so we are going to have 120 plus 1 which is 121 over 144 all right so now this is why i asked you not to uh, solve this further when you get to this point just pick this and whatever you have here and square them because this is what i mean you are going to pick x and you're going to pick minus 1 over 12 and you are going to square them and that is because if you multiply this by itself you are going to get this back 
okay so you factorize it faster when you leave them in this form so when you multiply this by itself that is x minus 1 over 12 multiplied by x minus 1 over 12 when you multiply this you are going to get the whole of this back so it's not as if i've removed the in the middle one no i've not done that so this is what we have for this side is equal to one two one over one four four okay now in order to open this bracket we need to take square root of both sides so that these two we cancel out this square we cancel out right so we have square root of x minus 1 over 12 squared is equal to square root of 1 2 1 over 1 4 4 now this square we cancel this square root and we have that x minus 1 over 12 or let me write it the other side so we have that x minus 1 over 12 is equal to now square root of 1 2 1 is what that is plus or minus square root of 1 2 1 is 11 divided by square root of 1 4 4 is 12 okay so at this point we are going to transfer this to the other side of the equation and if we do that we have that x is equal to minus we cross to become plus so we have 1 over 2 or 12 plus or minus 11 over 12 so that means that we have the first value of x as 1 over 12 plus 11 over 12 which is what 1 plus 11 is 12 over 12 which is 1 okay then we have the second value of x as 1 over 12 minus 11 over 12. And when we do that, we are going to have 1 minus 11 will give us minus 10 over 12. And if we solve this further, reduce it to its lowest term, we are going to have minus 5 over 6 as our results. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.